Guys, since the last time we spoke, Tesla's humanoid robots are now all walking together, have chassis fitted, and can complete new menial duties. Let's take a look at the reasons why Tesla's AI-powered robot stands head and shoulders above the competition, particularly the well-known Boston Dynamics Atlas. There is a new video that led to a talk about this development. It surfaced when Elon Musk, during a shareholder meeting event, claimed that him and the team just put it together the night before. But before that, I would actually like to tell you the whole story of how these Tesla bots revolutionized. Tesla's bot was originally revealed last year at the company's AI Day event. At the time, Tesla could only show a deconstructed version of the bot. That robot could barely walk, let alone perform any manual labor on stage. A version that was supposed to be closer to a production model was shown, but was held up by a stand and could only wave to the audience. But now, Tesla is showing robots more like that model but moving around independently, if a bit slowly. In my opinion, the video highlights some specific updates, including motor torque control, environment discovery and memorization, AI training from human tracked movements, and manipulating objects. To everyone's surprise, one Tesla bot was shown picking up objects from one container and putting them in a second container, which was also demonstrated as an example of training the bot's AI from a human demonstration. After seven months, it looks like the bot is on the way to becoming some sort of product, far and away ahead of its beginnings as, well, a guy in a suit. Tesla will presumably begin production on this bot sometime after the company delivers its first long-awaited cyber trucks. However, keep in mind that this project is at the moment in development and has few known details. Make sure you're not watching the video thinking of it as our final claims, because major modifications in these specs might happen, just like with the continuing thoughts and prototypes. At this stage, you might be wondering, what's the need of Optimus? Let me tell you this. In recent years, the industry has seen the importance of robotics, which has sparked increased research into artificial intelligence and the construction of AI robots. Robots that can move autonomously, make decisions on their own, and adapt to changing environments are made possible by the combination of robotics and AI. As AI robots infiltrate the military, healthcare, industrial, and even entertainment sectors, increasingly sophisticated navigation techniques, human interaction, and complex semantics will be required in many contexts. But as of now, according to Musk, Tesla's bot envisions the next generation of automation. Mark my words, it's eyes. Building a bipedal humanoid robot that can perform dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Tesla bots will relieve humans of unsafe duties by providing manufacturing assistance through automation in logistics. It will be a household robot that will aid millions of people from picking up groceries to cooking and caring for elderly. Meanwhile, the fresh data shows that, standing at 5 feet 8 inches or 173 centimeters tall and weighing around 73 kilograms, Optimus can lift 68 kilograms off the ground and carry 20 kilograms. The sleek shell design, featuring an arm extend lift of 4.5 kilograms, will be built using lightweight materials. It will have two axis feet for balancing and feature force feedback sensing. Tesla Bit will have 28 structural actuators, whereas Optimus will carry similar tools as Tesla cars, including autopilot cameras, screen displays, and self-driving computers. It will have eight autopilot cameras in the head for sensing the environment. The face will have an interactive screen, allowing communication and information display. Oh, and this info display will probably be a replacement for speaking. Its operation under Tesla's full self-driving computer will power the Android. The robot will also incorporate the same interface as current Tesla models. Some tools include Tesla's developing advanced AI driver assistance system used in cars, multi-cam video neural networks, neural net planning, and auto labeling. As safety is of tantamount importance, the robot will have a localized chip available for remote updating. And to alleviate the fear of a dystopian situation, Tesla bot will comply when instructed to stop whatever activity it is doing. If you ask me, the level of detail in Optimus' design is nothing short of mesmerizing. The 3D printed body is made of lightweight materials like carbon fiber and aluminum, ensuring both durability and agility, and could access the Tesla AI Dodo supercomputer, facilitating rapid learning and adaptation. I couldn't help but be overwhelmed by the possibilities Optimus presented for reshaping industries, from hazardous tasks in construction to healthcare support. 
This remarkable innovation has the potential to revolutionize the way we live and work. The world has just witnessed a glimpse of the future, and it is exhilarating. As of now, it is capable of self-calibrating its arms and legs. Using only vision and joint position encoders, it can precisely locate its limbs in space. Accurately calibrated, Optimus learns various tasks more efficiently. Tesla's Optimus achieves a level of autonomy that few robots can match. Distinct of its peers, it operates solely on a neural network relying on input from cameras and limb positions to predict and execute actions. This innovative approach eliminates the need for actual manual programming and paves the way for a new era of adaptable and intelligent robotics. Whereas end-to-end -end training is at the core of robot capabilities, this means that it learns entire tasks holistically, without the necessity of breaking them down into smaller, discrete subtasks. This streamlined learning process enables the robot to quickly adapt to various tasks, making it incredibly versatile. Another standout feature is its onboard computing capabilities. Unlike many robotic systems that rely on cloud-based processing, this robot operates autonomously with its own hardware. This self-reliance ensures the robot can function as long as its battery lasts, without the need for constant connectivity. However, if you're an AI freak like me, then you must have understood Tesla's mentality until now. The approach is inherently data-driven. The more data the robot collects, whether through simulations or real-world actions, the better it becomes at learning new complex tasks. This adaptability is a testament to its potential for a wide range of applications and interactions. On top of that, users can communicate their intentions to the robot, akin to how language models operate. This ability to understand and respond to user inputs hints at the potential for human-like interactions with the machine. Fine motor skills are notoriously challenging to program explicitly in robots, but Optimus showcases remarkable dexterity as it adeptly handles and manipulates objects with precision. This capability opens up possibilities in various industries, from manufacturing to healthcare. But in my views, the most fascinating part is this. Optimus exhibits unrivaled levels of physical dexterity as it maintains balance while performing yoga postures in a jaw-dropping exhibition of balancing. This outstanding balance has great potential for use in sectors that require prolonged labor. Within a couple of years, the robot has evolved from conceptual stages to functioning prototypes. In contrast, other robotic endeavors have struggled to achieve similar advancements over extended periods, highlighting the efficiency of Tesla's learning and adaptability model. On the other hand, Tesla's leadership, particularly Elon Musk, places a strong emphasis on cost reduction, acceleration, and scalability. This business-driven approach suggests that this robot is not just a technological marvel, but also a strategic move towards robotic systems that can effectively compete with human workers in various industries. In the meantime, reactions across the robotics community are diverse. Because robotics requires expertise in many different aspects of both software and hardware, getting a good sense of the present context of Tesla's robot as well as its future potential means finding perspectives from a multitude of robotics experts, including people working in industry and academia, and everywhere in between. And by scouring the internet, I found as many expert commenters as I could. Together, they offer the most detailed and nuanced understanding of Optimus we're likely to get outside of Tesla itself. Looking at the Tesla bot as a roboticist, I am impressed by what the engineers achieved for this prototype in a year. However, the behaviors demonstrated are less impressive than that of Honda's Asimo from 20 years ago. What excites me is the idea of cheap and accessible hardware. The electric motors with the battery support could make a very good tool for academic research. It takes way more to solve manipulation, but academia looks forward to getting your hardware. While automation-based solutions are still being researched, it is unclear how well a solution based on general-purpose hardware will perform. We would have to look at items with low volume, significant unpredictability, and a requirement for swift adaptability. Tesla would gain a lot by working with the neighborhood. By being more transparent, Elon would only encourage more people to work on the issue, which is, after all, beneficial to humanity, which Elon claims is their guiding philosophy. Tesla already has the community paying attention. The company is being forced to invent the wheel on several different fronts in order to design the entire stack of hardware, simulation, and data infrastructure. The potential for automation in industries like food service, manufacturing, and beyond becomes more and more exciting as Tesla's Optimus pushes the limits of what robots can do. The robot's demonstrated talents pique curiosity about the wide range of activities it could one day be able to do. Subscribe to this in Avella for more blues from the world of AI. Many of the best videos I have ever created are currently popping up on your screen. Therefore, click right away, and I'll see you there shortly.